guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Crown Eurocars in St. Pete, Florida, and we have a little bit of a power-packed small SUV for you. This is a 2021 Mercedes AMG GLB 35. But before we get into this small size, all-wheel drive, turbocharged SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. Mercedes-Benz. When you hear AMG, you know you're getting extra performance. Now, the interesting thing is there's many different ways to get your level of performance. And this GLB, which is basically a GLB 250, has been given some of those AMG steroids to kind of pump it up. Not only underneath the hood, but also the exterior, the chassis dynamics, and of course, braking and handling. Now, when we get to the interior, you're gonna see that there's also some other changes that come when you go the AMG route, especially on this GLB. With this being their smallest crossover SUV in their lineup, is this the way to go? Is it worth the price for this GLB 35 to really make it a standout if you want that perfect combination of versatility and some sprinkling of some of that performance? Let's go ahead and find out what our 2021 GLB 35 that formatic all-wheel drive, let's find out. Right off the bat, color. Love this beautiful metallic gray. Really fits the lines and the character very well. When we start at the front of the business, you're gonna see that updated headlight design. Now remember, we have a new GLB that we're sitting with here, and you're gonna have the LED daytime running lamps and your LED headlamps. Everything else on the interior is blacked out with just a little bit of chrome in there to kind of give it some identity. Now, as you drop down, we are gonna have to zonk this fake vented area. I wish they would've just got rid of this weird design, but you do have a massive air curtain on the side, and I like the way they have these two horizontal uh, bars here to help uh, direct that air and give it more of that styling character to help it stand out. Now, there is a little bit of flat black, and I guess because it is a crossover SUV, they were putting that there, it would've been nice to maybe just have it color matched, really make it pop. Lower portion extends down with some of that flat black, but as we go from this corner area to the main grill, you're gonna see that iconic Mercedes-Benz star logo. We have a forward-facing camera. The vertical slots look very classy. Everything is fully functional. We work our way down, and I love the way they kind of designed this midsection to extend out. Massive opening down below. A Little bit of gloss black to kind of make it look like a simulated almost like a skid plate design, but obviously it's a lip spoiler to extend out to help channel that air into that intercooler and radiator. Just a little bit more faux venting, which I'm gonna have to just do it. Those, since those are small, we'll do a half zonk on those. But the great news is you are getting an aggressive look on this small SUV. Now, when we get up onto the hood, you got your two mini bulges, one on each side. There's another Mercedes-Benz logo there, so much class so much heritage and when you go amg you're getting a lot of that racing engineering that's been brought over to this vehicle now when we come around the bend what are we working with wheel and tire i'm actually really really loving these y spoke wheels it's a 20 inch wheel flat black looking great with just a nice machined aluminum outer edge the amg logo stamp there and what we're wrapped with are the sport contact six continental tires so this is a 255 on the width 40 series sidewall. This is a nice in-between of a track day tire and a road going tire. And of course, with the all-wheel drive, we're gonna be able to get the power to the ground. There's a little bit of more, a little bit more of that flat black. Would have been nice to have it color matched, uh, especially this beautiful, like I said, that metallic gray. Of course, we got our badge on the side, the Turbo 4-Matic, really clean. I'm glad they didn't put any faux vents on the side. Saves us a zonk altogether. Gloss black on the mirror caps. You do have your turn single slim and trim LED. And then they went gloss black on the window treatment, but flat black on your roof rails. Now you are getting these raised roof rails to give you that flexibility of actually using this as a small SUV. And they're really st sturdy. You can see I basically could flip this GLB 35 over. So you'll be able to put almost just about anything. A Little bit of chrome finish on the door handles and then some gloss black to kind of break up the flat black on the bottom. It's just a sprinkling here and there, but it actually all ties in nicely together. Now you'll notice that the GLB 
chassis for 2021, the whole body and whatnot, kind of mimics the boxy styling of the G-Wagon in a way. So that's something that was new to kind of give it a little bit more interior space. Massive rear quarter window. And then I really like the body lines coming off of the door. Now, out back, if we drop down, what you're gonna find is you're still gonna get the 255s. And remember, these brakes are fully ventilated, cross-drilled, and up front, you got those nice, massive calipers to slow, slow you down. Coming around the back, the tail end of the business, you're gonna get this gloss black edition of a lip spoiler up top. I like the way it's integrated nicely into that low roof spoiler coming off the back there. So it gives you enough, just enough kick up to let you know you got something a little extra special, that AMG badge. I'm really digging the LED taillights. They do such a great job with their taillights. Your GLB 35 badge. We drop down, you got a little bit of protection for the rear bumper area. More of that faux vent, why? why they do that? Get rid of that. That's gonna be a zong. But one thing that's absolutely mind-blowing at the tail end of the business is this massive rear diffuser. I mean, that looks like something off of a race car and you got a nice exhaust, one on each side, gloss black tips. They are functional, which is a great part of life when it comes to an enthusiast vehicle. But why don't we pop the hood and see what's powering our GLB 35. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have a single massive hydraulic hood strut. Underneath that hood, you know what? It actually looks really tasteful. So you're gonna get a nice, small, simple engine cover with the AMG badge, with the Mercedes-Benz logo, but I want you to feast, just focus your eyes at the back part. Look at this massive strut tower brace. It goes from one shock top mount all the way to the other side. And I'm gonna jump around and kind of meet you over here because you'll notice the wires go into the shock absorbers. These are adaptive dampers, all four corners, depending on the mode that you're in. But this strut top brace, is pretty substantial and very surprising when you pop the hood. Now, what you're gonna find under the rest of the engine compartment is gonna be that two liter inline four turbocharged engine, 302 horsepower, 295 pound-feet of torque. It is made it to an eight-speed automatic transmission. The vehicle weighs 3,869 pounds with all-wheel drive, zero to 60 in 5.1 seconds, top speed 155 miles an hour, and MPGs, 21 in the city, 26 on the highway, and I just want you to focus up front. You can clearly see the turbocharger sitting right there for this two liter inline four engine. Nice to have the different variety of ways to get into the AMG club. There's even a notch higher than this, but why don't we go ahead, let's fire this up and hear what kind of sound it makes. All right, guys, we're inside this 2021 GLB 35. I know you're at that point where you're like, Joe, I I'm looking for some type of small SUV, but I do like performance. That's one of the reasons why I watch Rady's Rides is for the on-throttle performance. I wasn't even aware this vehicle existed. How much is it? The way that this one is optioned, you're looking at MSRP of $60,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Love the styling touches. So you're gonna get that nice bright red contrast stitching, soft touch material, and then carbon fiber design, three memory seat settings, which is great. The bad news is you got heated seats, but no ventilated seats. That's a major zonk at $60,000. Yes, it is an option, but it shouldn't be. I do like the silver on the um, door handle and the handle to close the door. The Alcantara material is very, very classy, but also sporty with the red stitching and you have a great size door pocket. Easily put a bottle of milk, like those old fashioned glass bottles of milk and a sack of chocolate chip cookies. Yes, I said it, a sack of chocolate chip cookies. Now going from the door pocket to the dash, soft touch material. I love the style of the AC vents, very aeronautical. You are gonna get ambient lighting, which it's a little hard to pick up on camera, but I know Lori's gonna be able to showcase a little bit of it. There's over 78 million colors in the color palette. And just remember Roy G. Biv as always, silver trim looking great. And then what are you gonna get for infotainment? Well, first of all, like I said, you're gonna get these aeronautical AC vents. There's a little bit of that ambient color. Right now I have it on Welch's grape juice color. And that's what we got when we type that into the system. You're gonna get two screens, 
10.3 inches, so you're getting plenty of screen space there for visual pleasure. Navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Is it a touch screen? I just touched it and it did something. You got your nice swipe features, which is great. You know where I'm going, where am I going? AMG Performance. You pull that up, you got a G meter, you can showcase your engine data and everything. Very, very nicely done, very intuitive. I'm gonna throw the vehicle in the reverse. There's your backup camera, very clear. It would be nice if it was a little larger. So we have a lot of dead space here. I would like that to be actual camera visual rather than the smaller boxes, but it is very clear what you do get. You drop down, you got your start stop button. We'll shut off that pesky auto start stop feature. You got your dual climate controls, easy to get to. Drop down, what do we have? We have a wireless charging pad. Wish there was a lid, so I am gonna zonk that. There's the Welch's grape uh, juice color there. We have a 12 volt USB-C, two cup holders. There's your key fob. Yes, it's an AMG key fob, so I'm glad that they did that. Nice lightweight to it. Look at, look at the cup holders, watch this, you ready? Bam, bam. So that allows you to put smaller cups and bottles in there, and then you can flip it down for something that's larger. If you don't like touching the screen, you could touch a pad. If you don't like touching a pad, you got little uh, volume and switch gear controls, easy to get to, buttons, so that's a nice touch. But I'm telling you, very intuitive and nice to have all the different features. You have the different driving modes, which is nice. So we have, of course, Bon Jovi mode that comes with every Mercedes-Benz product. Individual, you can tailor, tailor it to yourself. Comfort, Sport, and Sport Plus. That's where we're going because we're gonna set the roads ablaze. Coming back to the center console area, there's that beautiful silver finish. This is a little bit of a palm rest and you do have your switch gear to adjust your suspension, which is nice. Soft on the armrest. Open it up, bombs away, what do we got? You could easily put, I would say, about $1.2 million in there. No, not in actual dollar bills. I'm talking about 1,200 gram bars. You could drop in there, and you got two USB-Cs. Seats, love the style, the leather, the red stitching, the Alcantara material. Nice on the bolstering. Of course, we have full electric assist for the passenger and the driver. And we have this massive sunroof, which is great. Look at that. Bam. Panoramic style with the split in the center. Open up the shade. Close the stage. Uh, the shade. Almost got screwed that up. I'm six feet tall. I could grow another four inches and still feel very comfortable in here. If you're seven feet tall, you're definitely going to want to get down here and sit in this first. But why don't you come over here because I have a steering wheel that's gonna blow your mind on the business end, come on over. All right guys, business time behind this beautiful steering wheel. The seats are really comfy. I would like a little bit more bolstering if you're gonna get very aggressive through those twisty bits, but I'm telling you, look at this thing. Absolutely sexy. The Alcantara, the red stitching, the red stripe, top dead center, flat bottom, and you have the paddles to go up and down that eight speed automatic transmission. And just like we showed you, you have an over 10 inch infotainment. You also have a 10 inch gauge cluster. So really clear graphics, love the font. And to be honest with you, we're shooting with the sun on it and there's no glare. So it's really cool that they're able to create this kind of environment and allow you to actually be able to see and not be blinded by glare. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in that back seat is anybody back there? Let's get in that back seat and see how much room your passengers are gonna have in this GLB 35. All right guys, back seat time. And I'm telling you, this GLB, just this GLB period has a ton of rear seat room. I'm telling you, six feet tall, even with the panoramic style sunroof, and I still got plenty of room back here. Now you do have those pesky cargo nets, so I am gonna zonk that. If your kids put their you know, knives or Chinese throwing stars or Nunchucks, they're probably gonna rip through this. So just something to be aware of. I do like the way they bring the style of the AC vents into the back, same exact style. And you have a nice little place for some Tootsie Rolls. And then watch this, bam, what do we have? You got some power source there, two USB-Cs. You can see the amount of room in here. It's absolutely ridiculous. And the nice thing is you can kind of tilt it back just a little bit. I think that kind of makes the experience that much more comfortable. Pull that bad boy down, looking good. It's as hard as a rock because watch this. Bam, bam. Super Slurpee holders. Certified by 7-Eleven. You can get your Super Slurpees. I'm going uh, Cherry Cola. That's what I'm feeling right about now. Put that back. Let's go ahead, let's check out the cargo area and see what you could haul in this GLB 35. All right guys, time to get into the cargo area. Hit the button, nice electric assist. 
What you're gonna find is with that boxier style, look at how much height we have from the cargo floor all the way to the interior. Of course, those seats will do the 60-40 split tango. You have some Twinkie straps back here. Hold your Twinkies into place or maybe buy a few of those pickles in a bag that you find at the gas station, those side street gas stations. And we even have some areas for an actual box of Twinkies to be held in with that cargo net. Now, how much room are we looking at? You're looking at 22 cubic feet of space with the seats up, fold the seats down, it maximizes out at over 60 cubic feet of space. So quite a, a, a large amount of room for a smaller SUV, but you know what? If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go for a little on throttle spin and see if we can find some pickles in bags. All right, guys, we left Crown Euro cars. We're in this 2021 GLB 35. Right away, you, you definitely feel like you're in something special. It does not drive like your regular GLB 250 for sure. All the finishes in here, getting to the infotainment system is well within reach. And if you don't wanna to touch it, like I said, you have a plethora of other ways that you can navigate through the infotainment system. Of course, we're in Sport Plus mode, and I'm gonna put it into manual gear shifting mode and go through that eight speed automatic with the paddles. Steering wheel has the perfect thickness to it. Like I said, I think the big thing that this thing is missing is ventilated seats at $60,000, especially on a hot day like today in sunny Florida. Ventilated seats go a long way, especially when you see the dead button. I mean, to open up the door panel and see the dead button like that, it just, I don't know, just doesn't make you feel super super good but where it's gonna feel good is when we go on throttle with this glb 35 but uh if you're ready i'm ready on throttle here we go nice <laughs> i'm telling you it it makes all the right noises uh, you know obviously there's a portion of it that's simulated but the ships are so fast and the all-wheel drive it it keeps you planted and it allows you to have that little bit extra performance that some people may want. They may not want to go all in. You know, having the choices of what trim you want to be at really just opens up the availability uh, to a lot more people and a larger group of people. But uh, it's crazy how there's no glare on the instrumentation. You would think without having some type of hood to cover the gauges that there would be so much glare from the sun that you wouldn't be able to see anything but it actually works really really well like super well the space in here is plentiful especially when it comes to overall height you're not going to be um, needing more headroom that's for sure uh, but we're going to go ahead and slow down a little bit here i'm going to put it back into second gear and eh, what the heck first gear on oh, throttle here we go Fast shifts from that, that transmission. Nice, on the brakes, ooh. Brakes feel great, going into this right hand bend. Nice, look at that. Pulls you right out. And the great news is, is you got the traction. You got the traction from the all wheel drive system that you want. And that's what's great about this 4Matic system is that it sends power forward and backward very nicely to give you that grip that you want. All right, guys, once again, put in first gear here. On throttle, here we go. Nice, fast shifts. You hit that, you hit that paddle, it shifts. That's how fast it is. Look at this, nice. Here we go, on the brakes. Nice, the, the chassis is so stable in this thing. That's what I love about it is that it's not just about getting extra power, which obviously you have more power in this GLB 35 than you do in a GLB 250. I mean, that's just common sense. But where the work is also coming into play and the performance and where that price point rises is that the work that's been done to the chassis, to the brakes, to the suspension, I mean, that's really where you get the whole big picture in this thing. All right, guys, what I wanna do is I wanna see how the eight-speed behaves all on its own. I put it back into automatic mode, 
and we're gonna go through the twisty bits here, but uh, let's start from a dead stop, shall we? Oh, throw, here we go, yeah! <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a fun car to drive. It puts a smile on your face, that's for sure. You don't need to have 600 horsepower to have a good time. On those brakes, here's where it gets really fun. You hear the downshifts, look at that, nice. This is right hand bend, back on throttle. Definitely like it better in manual shift mode, but it's still getting the job done on the brakes. Look at the balance, that's really, you see that balance there? That's really where it all just comes together very nicely. I wish that the gearbox would shift a little bit where I need it to be. And that's the challenge is that some automatic transmissions do a really great job of knowing what gear you wanna be in at any given moment. This one, there was a little bit of uh, kind of, when you're dancing with somebody and they step on your toes a little bit or step on your foot, I kind of was having that experience just a little bit. But in manual shift mode, I put it back, that's really where it just, you wanna be because obviously you have full control of what's going on and really could take advantage of each gear, especially when you go into the twisty bits, you'll be in the right gear that you want. Here we go. Ah, oh, throw, here we go. Nice shifts. See, it just, it just allows that little bit more of communication to happen as you are using those paddles. But hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel about what the GLB 35 is all about. We're gonna get back to Crown Euro Cars and wrap this one up. So I will see you in a split second. Right, guys, it's been another great day here at Crown Euro Cars. I definitely gotta thank Nicole, Daniel, the rest of the crew, getting us access to this 2021 GLB 35. Is it worth the price? Is it the small performance SUV to buy? You know what, you definitely wanna add it to your list. If you're looking for that flexibility and that variety as there's like a race car, there's a guy in an Ultima with no exhaust. He is hashtag race car right now. But uh, if you want to really get a taste for what these small SUVs bring performance wise, you wanna add this one to your list, especially if you're looking at BMW or the Audi products. But if you want to keep seeing these performance SUVs on Razor Riders, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Razor Riders family. If you want to help us keep making great content or help us help that guy and buy him a muffler, click the first link, become a Razor Riders Patreon member. Click the second link, get yourself some Razor Riders merch. I got to give it up to The Rock, The Rock of Razor Rides. Lori, man in that camera to perfection. Show her some love in that comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.